Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this hero slider. So when I click right here, shoe is going to change as well as the name as well as the background color for all three shoes is going to be different and of course we have this nice and simple um, hover button at the bottom so users can actually purchase these shoes from their dedicated product pages. So let's get started. Alright, so here is the practice file for today's tutorial. If you want to get this practice file, make sure to check out my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube videos, including this one and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out. Once again, link is going to be down in the description below. Now to check out this practice file, as you can see, I only have one artboard right here and it's 1920 by 1080. Let me go back to design here we have just three colors we have two different fonts and we have a bunch of these different components of course none of this is mandatory but I just like to create components as I go along so what we have right here let me switch back to the layers panel let me click inside we have the main component which is called website and I just put everything into one component because it's much simpler to do so we have shoe 2 and shoe 3 states and of course we have default states because we have three states three different shoes and if I open it up what you can see right here is the navigation right here on top so I just have this simple text as my logo I have these navigational items and I have cart icon and profile icon for the users to log in or to go to cart to continue or to start their purchase next up below we have the shoes so we just have these three different images and if I switch between the states basically what happens is when users click on these arrows or they can even tap on this shoe for example to go left and right and switch between the shoes this shoe is going to go into this position but it's just going to go right here to the left and this shoe is going to go to this position so it's just 15 degrees you can see right here for the rotation and then this third shoe is going to come into play right here it's super simple to do next up below we have names so for the names i just use this big text so railway and 380 regular and we have the names so aviator runner and clubber you can see them right here and simple mask on top of it i'm going to leave some links in the description below and perhaps a card right here for you to check out some other tutorials i did about the mask so you can go in depth into details about how to create something like this but it's really super simple below that we have arrows and on top of each arrow we have left tap point and right tap point why is that? Well, you can create, for example, lotty icons for these arrows. You can put animations inside and then you cannot click for the animation to start and to happen and to click to go outside and do something else. So that's why we need these tap points. Of course, to show you what the tap point is, it's just a rectangle right here. You can see it. So 34 by 34. And if I increase opacity, you can see it's just a white square, white rectangle, white circle. It can be whatever you want. And let me simply lower down the opacity back to zero. And that's basically it. So as I said, we have a left one for the left arrow and we have right one for the right arrow. Below that we have shop button and button is super simple for this one. I just wanted to keep it really minimal and simple. So we have button background and we have shop now and we have hover state. So just a lighter version of this uh, white color. So we have completely white and we have light gray right here and shop now text doesn't change the color, doesn't do basically anything. Below that we have social media. So just these three icons, we have this text and we have this text right here. And then below we actually have three different images so if I show you what I mean this is the image right here and it's on difference so if I bring it back to normal you can see it's kind of a pink color something like that and we have background blur so if I switch it off you can see how it actually looks like if I bring my blur back and if I bring back that difference you can see that it actually changes the color to this nice green to correspond well with the shoe Below that we have actually exactly the same image but here it's at darken so once again it has that blur uh, background blur effect but it's at darken so it's a little bit different color and for the background image 3 we have exactly the same image at luminosity and the blur values are exactly the same. So you can see opacity 0 for 3, opacity 0 for the 2 and background image 1 is at 100. So what happens when you start changing? So basically it's super simple. Let me actually hide myself 
so that you can see that background blur a little bit more so you can see uh, the details right here so we have a mounted 30 brightness of 15 and opacity at 18 so these are just the default values maybe you can adjust them a little bit depending of your image so how everything works is once actually users click on this arrow this shoe is going to go right here text is going to change opacity of this image number one is going to go to zero number two is going to go to 100 and same story for the third image or if they go back it's just going to go back so let's actually switch to shoe number two you can see how everything looks like right here and shoe number three again different color right here so you can actually use completely different images you can use completely different background colors you can use different opacity uh, sliders opacity values you can use different background blurs whatever you want you can use right here it's just super simple to use just one image and play with these uh, blend modes and transforms to get a different look so let's check it out one more time as i said that's basically it so default state control enter or command enter if you're on a mac to go into full screen and let's click it and check it out how it looks like so basically i just animated these tab points now if you think that this um, transition and animation is a bit stuttery that's because it is and i set it to ease in out you can set it to bounce you can set it to snap or to any other uh, animation and let me actually hide myself so you can see it a little bit better but if you want you can actually set it to be even longer then the animation is going to be a little bit smoother or you can set it to be shorter you can do whatever you want with it but basically that's it it's super simple to do this and because we put just one hover uh, on one button it's going to work flawlessly anywhere you put it and basically the idea behind these is let's say they chose this shoe when they actually click shop now it's going to take them to the dedicated shoe page for this runner shoe so that's basically it for this tutorial i really hope you liked it and learned something new once again if you want to get this practice file it's in my membership linked down below make sure to subscribe to this channel because i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd design passive income techniques and much more so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe make sure to check it out like this video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and until next time take care